Okay, can you do this problem without the aid of a calculator? Hopefully you can because this is going to be critical to your success in courses like algebra and beyond, okay? So even though we're not dealing with variables here, uh, we are dealing with a power and an exponent. And again, we don't want to use a calculator. And the problem is we want to fi uh, find out with one half to the negative three powers equal to, okay? We want to evaluate this. And this is something you can do without a calculator. And you're going to be expected to be able to do things like this, of course, if you're taking any sort of algebra course. Okay, so let's get into this problem. And I'm going to give you a hint, okay? So I'm going to give you an opportunity to see if you can do this, right? So uh, let's take a look at your first hint, okay? So here is what you're gonna to need to know in order to do this problem without a calculator. So you need to understand something about powers and exponents. So what we have here, okay, a power, let's take something like this, two to the third power. What does that mean? Well, it means uh, take two and multiply it by itself three, whoops, not three times, not two times, two times two. See, I got ahead of myself right here. Two times two times two, that's three times there. Of course, that's eight, okay? So two to the third power is equal to eight. It means take two, multiply it by itself three times, okay? Hopefully you understand that. But we do have uh, uh, little names to this power. This big number down here is called the base, okay? Just as a quick review, this is called the base. And this little number up there is called the exponent, okay? So uh, this overall thing right here is called a power. So two to the third power, two is the base, three is the exponent. And when you study algebra, uh, you know, and, and you start learning this too, like in uh, middle school and whatnot, you start learning about powers. But in algebra, you really get um, uh, in depth about powers and exponents and rules of powers and exponents. And one of the rules you need to understand is this rule right here, okay? A to the negative N is equal to one over A to the N, some sort of rule. It might've been a different variable, but this is a rule of powers and exponents you need to understand. And this is the rule that you need to unlock the answer to this guy right here, okay? All right, so I told you I was going to give you a hint. So if you're like, oh, you know, I, I could do this, but I forgot the rule. Well, here's the rule. Okay, so go ahead and take out a piece of paper and uh, kind of show me what you can do and put your answer into the comment section. But um, let's go ahead and actually answer the question now by using this rule. And this rule here is, uh, I can tell you right now, negative exponents is a rule that's commonly confused in algebra. All right, so let's go ahead and apply this rule. All right, so here it is. A to the negative n is equal to one over uh, a to the n. So a is the base, okay? So um, I have a base to the negative power. I can write this as one over that same base, but the power becomes positive, okay? So let's just follow the rule. This would be like my a, and this is like my negative n. So if I put this over one, okay, one over, I'm gonna write the same power, okay? But notice the exponent goes from negative to positive, just right here, negative to positive. So just follow the rule, okay? So here is the rule in action, negative exponent, okay? Now, when you're simplifying a power, typically you don't want to leave things with a negative exponent, but we're trying to get this down to a value, a particular number. We're trying to evaluate this expression. All right, so one half to the negative third power is equal to one over one half to the third power, all right? And that's true because of this uh, uh, property of powers and exponents that you should be learning in algebra or, or, or possibly have already learned. Okay, so this is your first, um, or sorry, your second hint, okay? The first hint was I just gave you the rule. Uh, your second hint was, okay, now I'm gonna show you how to apply it. So now, uh, can you simplify this? Okay, can you get this down to a number? Uh, let's see if you could do this now. Okay, hopefully you can. So what is one divided by one half uh, to the third power? Again, no calculators, okay? We're not gonna be using calculators for this problem. Real quick, if you want my best math instruction, you definitely gotta check out my full courses. Again, you can find links to these in the description of this video, but they span basic math to advanced math and everything in between. Okay, so let's keep going with this problem and don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out.
All right, so let's go ahead and answer that right now. Okay, so here we go. So let's just kind of review where we came uh, from. So here was the problem, one half to the negative third powers. We use that property of powers and exponents for negative exponents. That's equal to one over one half to the third power, okay? Now, here is the, the thing. You have to interpret what's going on here, okay? What is this saying? Well, this is saying one, this line right here, it's a fraction, but that means division. One divided by one half to the third power. So what you want to do is just write this with, uh, with its uh, division symbol. So let's go and do that uh, over here, okay? So one, that little fraction bar means divided by, one divided by one half to the third power, okay? Positive third power. So one over one half to the third power is the same thing as one divided by one half to the third power. And this now becomes much easier. So this is equivalent to one divided by, let's figure out what, remember, order of operations, you got to do powers first. So one half to the third power means what? It means one half times one half times one half. So let's simplify this, one half times one half times one half. Remember, we're multiplying fractions, multiply all the numerators and denominators, so I get one over eight, okay? So uh, here, this problem now is one divided by one eighth, because one half to the third power is one eighth. So how do you divide fractions? Well, you're gonna take this fraction to the right of the division symbol. Okay, well, first of all, we're gonna rewrite this as a multiplication problem by flipping this fraction to the right of the division symbol. So this is one half times eight over one, and the final answer is eight. If you need additional help, Okay, with powers and exponents, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel that go over different types of problems like this. Um, but I would strongly suggest checking out like my Algebra 1 or maybe my, my Algebra 2 courses. I thoroughly get into this. You start learning this also in pre-algebra. So I do cover some of this in my pre-algebra course, but I would probably most uh, strongly suggest my Algebra 1, Algebra 2, or maybe my College Algebra course, you know, depending on what, uh, where you're at. Uh, so those three courses would probably be the best bet. Of course, you can find those in my Math Help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.